Registered Phenomena Code 930 Object Class Neutralized Hazard Types None Containment Protocols Both RPC-930 and RPC-930-1 are to be kept in a standard containment locker at Site-016's warehouse. Containment protocols change after neutralization. Description RPC-930 is a Nintendo Entertainment System manufactured in 1985. RPC-930 is non-discernible from a non-anomalous Nintendo Entertainment System, and when being used, shows no anomalous effects until RPC-930-1 is inserted. RPC-930-1 is a cartridge of the game Super Mario Bros. A 2D platformer released in 1985 by Nintendo. RPC-930-1 only operates when inserted into RPC-930, and does not operate if inserted into a non-anomalous Nintendo Entertainment System, and will only display a Game Pack error screen. When RPC-930-1 is inserted into RPC-930 and turned on, it will display the normal title screen of Super Mario Bros., and will proceed to operate as normal until the player reaches the end of the second level of the first world, where they are faced by a green pipe in the shape of an inverse L that, once entered, leads to the exit of the level. RPC-930 and RPC-930-1 of the anomalous effects manifest once the player performs the following actions. The player jumps on top of the pipe. The player crouches. The player jumps facing left towards the upward-facing section of the pipe. The player faces through the wall to the warp zone. The player enters the furthest pipe to the left. After the completion of these actions, and instead of being transported to the common world minus one glitch level, the player will be sent into infinitely generated glitch levels within the game. These levels are distorted in nature, featuring glitch tile sets, backgrounds, sprites, and code. RPC-930-1 has shown some forms of sentience in the form of using glitch graphics to spell out words. The most common phrases RPC-930-1 spelled out are the following. How did you do this? You are not a super player. You shouldn't be here. You are hurting me. No. RPC-930-1 has not been seen spelling out any more phrases, other than the phrases above. After each level the player completes, the levels slowly increase in distortion until RPC-930-1 crashes. Addendum 001 While attempting to activate RPC-930-1 of the anomalous effects, the game crashed, with the message NO spelled out. Attempting the activation events again was met with the same results. RPC-930-1 reacted this way during testing for two weeks, until a new message appeared. Why are you hurting me? Why can't you just leave me alone? This message was on screen for approximately five minutes before RPC-930-1 crashed. After unplugging and replugging RPC-930, RPC-930-1 operated as it did previously. Addendum 002 After a period of one month, no sightings of messages from RPC-930-1 were seen until November 21, 2020. Upon starting the game, the death and game over animations would play, preventing anyone from playing RPC-930-1, where the normal game over text would be, a new message was found. I've been patient with you people for long enough. Game over, fuckers. After this message, RPC-930 crashed and is no longer able to turn back on. Due to this, RPC-930 has been reclassified and neutralized. Addendum 003 Approximately two hours after the last message from RPC-930-1, a power outage occurred in the entire site, causing multiple containment breaches. A final message from RPC-930-1 was reported being seen on multiple computer screens on-site. You hurt me, I hurt you. Game over.